This is Record Royale, where we throw two albums into the ring with one another and see which one comes out on top. All right, welcome to another episode of Record Royale, where we throw two albums into the ring with one another and see which one comes out on top. However, today, we're throwing 32 albums into the ring, baby. It's a big all-in brawl. It's the Royal Rumble today. Let's go. The octagon. Beers have been cracked. Blazers are on. Oh, yeah. We got the bracket episode, the big 32-album tawny. Every single album that we've covered on the show so far is going up against each other. Brad, Adam, how are we feeling about it? Oh, I'm ecstatic. So keen. be I've fun. been looking forward to this all week. I think. Yeah. I've been looking forward to this for like 16 weeks now. I think the, yeah. whole, the whole show. It's all been leading up to this. So it has. See how we go. Season mm. one is almost done. Yeah, yeah essentially, tears. this is the end of season one. We haven't really formatted it like that. But uh, next week will be season two. We'll have a new color scheme. So say goodbye to that light blue you all know and love. <laughs> uh, we'll have a brand new segment, which we'll get into next week. But it's, it should be pretty fun. Mm-hmm. If we don't cook it like we normally do. <laughs> and uh, we'll have some even more incredible guests. And next week is a big one. We'll get into that later as well. But uh, yeah, season two coming in hot next week. So this is really the last episode of season one. And man, we'll finish it with a bang. We'll probably finish every season like this though, I'd say. I think with the so. big tawny. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we're getting straight into it today because it could be a long one. we got some awards to give out. <laughs> so when, we, when you see the videos on our uh, Instagram and Facebook through the week, you'll see we have... Our backgrounds on Skype, <laughs> uh, Grammy-related photos, and we have blazers on, yeah. and uh, we look pretty, pretty good. This is we pretty look, good. Yeah, pretty handsome guys. This is better than the probably guys. better than the Grammys. Like, yeah, yeah you better watch out because uh, I'm more excited than I am for the Grammys for yeah, this. Definitely. I think so. Easy. Oh, I've yeah. never watched the Grammys, but I'd watch this. I'd listen to this. Yeah, mm. yeah. This the record <laughs> ray, our first ever tawny episode. Um, <laughs> As I just said, we're going to give out some awards. Uh, season one awards. There's going to be five of them. Uh, should we get? Should we just get straight into it? I think so. No dicking yeah. around today. No, not today. We're feeling. I'm feeling professional. Let's get into it. <laughs> so the first award is for our favorite song of the entire podcast that we've done. Our favorite song that we've come across. Adam, would you like to go first? What is your f- yeah, top song? I'll go first. Um, mine is kind of it's kind of a little bit of a cop out because it's a big single. And it's a big track, and it's one that I loved prior to the pod, but That's I okay. just, it is still, I wake up to this song, <laughs> I always play this song in the shower, and I've never gotten sick of it, and it is, I think, by Tyler Creator. Jeez. Cool. There uh, just, is. there's something about it, it's so infectious, I and I just, I'm yet to, yeah, I'm yet to get over it, so. Ooh, 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 ooh. There it is. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's so good. Nice. Uh, yeah, it's a very cool song, that one. That was my <laughs> top song off that album as well, mm-hmm. actually. One of the best off it. Nice. Brad, what, what is your top song? Radio. i got a couple honorable mentions, first of all. I'm going to give one to Countdown by Phoenix, because yeah, that yeah. is just like nice. indie pop bliss right there. It's as it good is. as it gets. Um, I've got uh, like maybe the biggest sleeper song of the thousands of songs that we've covered. Um, Cat... Is it Camisado by Panic at the Disco? Camisado. Camisado. Oh, yeah. 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 We didn't even mention it on the pod, but um, no. I love that song. It's like about a few weeks later when we listened to, when I was listening to it again. It really, really got me. Um, I just want to say thanks for Jago and Rory for bringing that album on the show. It's always a party yeah. when, our, when our paths cross and yeah. everyone should <laughs> listen to their album. Like, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Show me some passion sure. by Jacob. Yeah. Hot damn. Give him a shout so out. Brad, what's your oh, top yeah, shit. song? <laughs> anyway, the winner. <laughs> 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 anyway, um, I had the Modern Age by the Strokes because yeah. that is probably <laughs> my song of the year. Like straight it up, it is so good. I think um, my Spotify like end of the year playlist that will be on top because I've listened to that hundreds of times. I think it's just they've just captured like the the bittersweet feeling perfectly yeah. on that song, and that's what the Strokes are the best at. So yeah, yeah, winner. Nice, cool. Um, I'm going to give some honourable mentions too. So, number one, Dear Dance by System of a Down. (laughs) That riff is by far the fattest riff I've probably ever heard and I will never not love it. Um, Another one is Like I Love You by Justin Timberlake. (laughs) It's a great track. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. 
We'll be here I used to dream trouble. about this when I was Don't a little boy. It's so good. I never thought it would end up like this. Drums. <laughs> yeah. It's so good. It's a great Yeah. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a bit of JT, but no. my favorite song is Seven Years by Charlie XCX. Jeez. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah. That chorus. I listen to that song every day still. And that chorus absolutely pops out of whatever I'm listening to. <laughs> yeah. It is so good. That's, so good. That's surprising. Yeah. Fucking hell. We yeah. really, really need to do the Charlie's, like the album Charlie, I think. Mm. That needs yeah. to be like soon on the pod. I'm sure she'll make a comeback. Anyway, yeah, season sure. Well, yeah, there you go. Um, cool. Yeah, that's my favorite song. So let's do the next one. It's kind of similar, but uh, not really. Uh, best find. So our favorite album that we hadn't previously heard before the podcast. So there's a lot that get, get ruled out, but there's a lot that are, are in contention. So uh, Adam, what is your best find? Uh, Mr. Thug Isolation by Lil mm-hmm. Ock, mate. Yeah, uh, nice. Like I'd never even heard of this artist. This is throwing it back to the beginning of the season, but I'd, I'd never heard of Lil Ugly Mane. And yeah, I just really love that album. <laughs> <laughs> Surprised me. On first glance, when I first listened to it, I was like, I don't really understand what this is. But then, yeah, over that week... I grew to love it a lot. So there you go. Thanks, awesome. Craterface. Yeah, Ooh. thank you to Chaff and Harry. Craterface. They were our first guests. That's, yeah. a, that's, that's an honor so cute. for both us and them. Brad, what, what is your best find? Um, my best find? Like, I think you mentioned this before. I'm going to go Justified by JT. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because I've, like, I found myself listening to that more than I would like to admit. And I think sometimes, like, the. The fun and funny qualities can sometimes override those like emotionally impactful and critical, critically important bits of music. So, <laughs> you know, I think it's just, yeah, super fun. I have an honorable mention to fun. Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge because that was our first step. Yeah. And that's yeah. on the album Rocks. I'm looking to pick that up on, on Wax. And I'll give uh, Billy Archer's album a, an honorable mention as well because. Mm. Really good. That was one of the apps where I was like, "Yeah, this might not be the best set, but turns out that's one of the best albums of 2018, 2019? 2019, yeah. 2019, 2019 yeah. yeah. And I'm super keen for her next stuff. So, yeah. Mm. Nice. Will? Cool. You, Will um, yeah, I'm going to give a couple honorable mentions also. Charlie XX's album, How I'm Feeling Now. Mm-hmm. That's a 2020 album. I also had Justified by JT oh, as yeah. an honorable mention. Just because how ridiculous and funny it is but also like pretty good and uh but yeah mine you said it brad three cheers for sweet revenge i don't know how i had never listened to that album before there it is yeah but um it is unreal (laughs) so good it's just right up my alley yeah for sure couldn't uh, get around around it anymore for sure it is i think i think that could go deep depending (laughs) on the run it has it could go deep uh sweet now our favorite tattoo ideas from our Sometimes awful, sometimes brilliant <laughs> segment. Get inks. Yes. Oof. Uh, um, can I go first with this one? Because yeah, yeah, this is just an obvious one for me. Brad, your Daft Punk tattoo yeah. from episode 7. Discovery vs. Settle, <laughs> by disclosure. Your Daft Punk where they're bench pressing and one's, <laughs> one's <laughs> holding up. What's the word? Oh, my God. Um, um, spotting. Spotting. Yeah, 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 spotting. And they're in full... <laughs> Um, on stage gear, mask on. <laughs> That's just like uh, hilarious. Yeah. And then my other one was another one by you, Brad. Mm-hmm. Ariana Grande, where she's posing like Michael Jordan, oh. but instead of six rings, she has seven. Did I say that? That's yes. Yes. terrible. <laughs> no, yeah. that's hilarious. That's I had I had those two exactly. Really? Jeez. For really? Brad, yeah, because they were both my favorites as well. Yeah. But I did have honorable mention to uh, Rome, 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 Rome. <laughs> that's well. a classic so as well. I'll, I'll, I'll go that one. So mm. there's nothing but Brad so far. It's Brad, all what Brad. Were your, your two favorite. Oh, your your favorite. Sorry, I definitely had the yeah the Daft Punk one. That's like I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I think. <laughs> and um, I also had the the Travis Scott 90210, where he says I could do this in Latin or whatever. It was just the full transcript of 90210 <laughs> in Latin across the back. <laughs> Which that would be pretty nice. I'd love to yeah. see someone get it. Boys, <laughs> would be pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I, I cleaned house then. Cheers, boys. Yeah, you did. You did. You did. Well, <laughs> you deserve to because your tattoo ID is one hundred percent the best every time. 
Now moving on to the worst. The worst takes of the pod. <laughs> Who wants to go first? Because they might involve me. Um, oh, is, yeah. is it not... I, I thought, is it not like your own worst take? I gave myself one, Adam one, and then a group one. Yeah. yeah. I'll just go first and yeah, I'll okay. continue. I said... Me giving Jew a leaper a 9 out of 10 <laughs> yeah. for Future Nostalgia. Mm-hmm. What yeah. was I thinking? I like mm-hmm. that album, but a 9? Come on. Come Jeez on. <laughs> um, Adam giving Toxicity by System of a Down a 6. Yeah. <laughs> like, that was bad. I forgot about need, that. You need to listen to that album more. And collectively, us giving Bleed American by Jimmy Antworld a 19 out of 30. I think we did it dirty. Mm. I don't know if you guys agree. but I, I, had, I had all three of those. Yeah. In there. <laughs> I think it was the first um, step, so we're just trying to be like edgy was, and yeah. cool by not going too high. Maybe. We've been trying yeah. to be hips critical. Yeah. Well that was yeah. I think that was also my system of a down situation. Yeah. <laughs> I just wasn't sure what rating was. Yeah. As soon as I got like four weeks in, I was like, nah, that was wrong. You can figure it I out. just didn't know how to Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, mine was my winner was Will Giving Future Nostalgia a nine. Um <laughs> as a poo would say. <laughs> what were you thinking, sir? <laughs> Like, seriously. And I've got one for me. Um, instead of... I called um, Wishmaster by a Little Ugly Man Wishmaker the whole lap. I was thinking about that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's not good enough from my end. So, I apologize. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty bad take. All right. Sweet ass. We're through. Yeah, very fair enough for me. Uh, now, the last award, it involves the bracket. Who do we think is the dark horse? So, not our favorite... Not the number one seed, not who we want to win, but who do we think could go deep and could really get a little upset here? Mm-hmm. Adam, who's yours? <laughs> I kind of... Little Ugly Man. <laughs> hey, he's got Again. he's got a pretty he's, easy matchup for a couple of them. So. That's what I mean, yeah. yeah. I, I was looking at the, the matchups. I think he could go deeper than expected Yeah, for I think so. the Gucci Man. <laughs> <laughs> the Gucci Man. <laughs> yeah, uh, for sure. Brad, what's yours? Uh, I had Ugly Man as well. And I think by looking at the bracket... Toxicity could go pretty deep <laughs> just by looking yeah. at it, not thinking about it too hard. Um, yeah, like its first couple matches, it's I feel like they're kind of easy. If if oh, it all goes to plan, it could be hard for Toxicity. Um, I had, I had from under the cork tree by Fallout Boy. It's, it, it, I don't know, it could go yeah. either way the second yeah. round, but we'll have to see. I can see that. And I also three cheers for Sweet Revenge, the one I said before by Mark Chemical Romance, but uh. Oh, man, we're, we're going to get into it. We're going to get no. into it. Before we get into it, though, if you follow us on uh, Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, for that matter, we posted during the week. We're going to give away a free vinyl record. That's right. T's and C's apply. $30 or <laughs> under. We are poor. Maybe a little bit more if we're feeling, if we're feeling good. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> people have entered and we're going to give it away. Uh, Brad, can you give me a number between 1 and 30? Ooh. Um, 23. LeBron James, baby. 23. <laughs> 23. 23. LeBron James. Can we get a drum roll going? We'll put that drum roll in. And the winner is... I've missed it. I've missed it. I've missed it. <laughs> Mac Williams. Yes. Right, Mac Williams. Thank it's you, Mac, Mac Williams. Williams. You're one. Uh, we'll get in touch. We'll get in touch throughout the week. Or you can just hit us up if you hear this. But congrats. Congrats, Mac. Yes. You've won yourself a free vinyl record. Mac Daddy. <laughs> Big Mac Daddy. Well, awesome. Good on him. Well Congrats, done, mate. mate. Well done. Well in. Okay, let's get into the bracket now. You're probably thinking, if you saw the photo, how did we seed these albums? A lot of them got the same score. Well, they've been seeded 1 through 32 based on the score that we gave them in their respective episodes uh, of season 1. Uh, when we had a guest on, obviously the score would have been higher. So instead of counting the total score... We just took out what the guests gave them and we used myself, Brad and Adam's uh, total out of 30 to, to get this score. Um, a lot of albums got the same score, obviously. So a couple of things decided their rankings. Firstly, if an album won its episode, it would rank higher than an album that didn't. Uh, if two albums both got the same score and both won their episode, then it just goes on what album was released first. So um, for example... Dookie by Green Day and The Bends by Radiohead both got 25 out of 30 and they both won their episodes but because Dookie was released in 1994 and The Bends was released in 1995, Dookie is the 7th seed and The Bends is the 8th seed. So that's just how it works. Um, 
Yeah, and it'll be like a majority rules voting system. So for an album to roll through to the next round, it needs at least two out of the three votes or a, cl- a clean sweep. Sweet. Shall we get into it? Let's go. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, round. <laughs> the round of 32. First matchup. We have the number one seed, the top dog. Since I Left You by the Avalanches was a score of 29 out of 30. It's taking on 32. Beyonce, Dangerously in Love, which got 12 out of 30. Ooh. Um, <laughs> Since I Left You had the songs that we liked the most, uh, the title track, Since I Left You, Live at Domino's, Two Hearts and Three Quarter Time. Dangerously in Love had Crazy in Love, very good song. Baby Boy and Me, Myself and I. So... Do we really have to go too much further with this one? Uh, if you listen to the Beyonce episode... It's very obviously Beyonce. <laughs> 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 no, we'll, we'll keep, keep Avalanches in the race. Yeah. I yeah. I think it's a pretty easy Sorry, one. Sorry, Bay. Yeah. Let's move on. <laughs> yeah, we got to move on. But Beyonce's <laughs> albums after this, killer. Yeah. But uh, not this one. And I don't know different. how it won so many Grammys. Nah. Stop being sympathetic. Uh, Let's get going. Yeah. <laughs> it's no good. <laughs> Yeah, let's keep this thing rolling. We don't. We're, we're not. We're not here for a, a long time. So, number two, we got number sixteen versus number seventeen. This could be interesting. We got Rage Against the Machine's self-titled album going up against Frank Ocean's Channel Orange. They both scored twenty-four out of thirty. This is so. I'm hard. going Frank. Whoa! Straight out of the gap. Straight yeah. out of the gap. No, I've, I've thought about it. I, Rage is a great album, but if I'm thinking of albums, I go back more. Like two more frequently, mm-hmm. it's definitely Frank for me. Okay, okay, okay. Jeez, I'm gonna. I'm just thinking. You know, Rage Against the Machine debut album. It's pretty big. Bullet in the head. Wake legacy. up. Freedom. Pretty important. Killing in the name. Pretty important album in the history of not even just music, but I'd say, I think pop culture yeah. and life in general. <laughs> I'm so gonna is, go. So is Channel Orange. Though. Yeah, that that's true, but... It's like Blonde was like the most anticipated album of ever because of Channel Orange. He's got a good point there, you know. He's uh, a... <laughs> this is no this is no small album. One, Grammys. Ooh, you know. Saint he's having a real hard thing. I yeah. do love Super Rich Kids. I do Monk's Bad Religion. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> but it's... Come on. I think oh, I don't know. Eh? I remember when we did Rage Against the Machine. I was like, mm, "Do you want me to go?" Not as good as what I remembered. Do you want me to say mine first? I, yeah, you go, Brad. I'm going Rad because I think Channel Orange is just not all the way there as as a piece of work, as a piece of art. It's just yeah. not as concise. And Blonde sees I like Blonde better, just to put it bluntly. Yeah. Um, and Radham, it's one of the most, it's one of the biggest rock albums. Ever. It belongs with like Nevermind and all the rest. So I'm going Radham. It does. It's, I'm just going right. to have to put it there. And we did it dirty on the app as well. We did it real dirty. Yeah. I, I gave yeah. them both the same score. Oh, yeah. They were both yeah. nines from me. But, uh, <laughs> there you go. You're the decider, Will. Yeah. yeah, I know who I'm going, but they're both the albums Radham. you have to be in a mood to listen to, I think. Mm-hmm. And because of that, I would. I'm more likely to be in a mood to listen for Rage Against Machine. So I'm going Rage Against Machine. It's going through. Yeah, nice. There we Easy. go. Easy. Let's move there we on. Go. Then. <laughs> right. Right. right in that. A couple down. sad reacts in chat for sure. <laughs> unfortunately. <Yeah. laughs> I think there would have been a lot more though if we uh, got if we kicked Rage Against Machine out in the first round. Mm. Yeah. So, um, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. The next one, number eight. Radiohead, The Benz, which is with a score of 25 out of 30, is going up against number 25, Jamie XX In Colour with a 20 out of 30. Jamie XX In Colour may have been my least favourite album of the podcast so far. Really yeah. sorry about that, Brad, but I'm going Radiohead, The Benz, Jeez. for sure. Yeah. I'm going Benz as well, just because I don't think I fully get Jamie XX right. yet. That might be the... Will, your take, Ben. That could be the worst take. <laughs> Screw this fusion of salvage stuff. I had yeah. in color. Like that is I've had such a good history with that album and I don't have a history with the bands. And it like since well, it was two weeks ago since we had Bray on. Shout out to Bray for coming on. But yeah, um the bands just didn't it just didn't stick with me. So I was gonna go Jamie XX, but I, I can see why he's chosen it and I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. 
<laughs> Fair enough. It's one of the it's one of the few albums that have really sat with me. Yeah. The bands. There you go. Um, yeah. Cool. Decent. Next. Next. Um, so we got number nine. Um, my find of the show: Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge by My Chemical Romance is going up against When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go by Billie Eilish. Mm-hmm. This is kind of hard, but this I'm going to go really three hard. cheers for sweet revenge straight up. I'll leave it there to you go. guys. I, to the end by uh, three uh, by my chemical romance on this album is incredibly one good of the song. one of the one of the best songs for sure. And it's another yeah. one of those just really important <laughs> albums. It's yeah. I think Billy Eilish is more important though. I think in 20 yeah, years time I'll, we're going to be talking I'll, about that album more than three cheers. Yeah, and how impactful that is on like the the youth today and how she is yeah. like she's it right now because of her as much yeah, as we for sure. we don't want to admit it but emo's dead <laughs> probably except for the trap but Rip. emo's dead yeah yeah but i'm going Billie Billie eilish will probably i feel like that's a forecast of the future so mm. but i'm probably still going mcl <laughs> oh still, shit. after all that yeah jeez yeah. all right it's just it's a greatest hits album. I thought you were on my side, Adam. Okay, okay. If I said I was going for Billie Eilish, then I wouldn't be true to myself. Okay. I think I, deep down, I do like My Chemical Romance's album better. But yeah, if Billie was against something else, it might have won. Yeah. Fair. Yeah, it all depends where they sit. But yeah. You know, that album's really good. The production on the Billie Eilish album is insane. Mm-hmm. But yeah. In terms of hits after hits and collective album. Fair. Definitely for me. Three cheers, three revenge. All right, let's move on. Number four, The Strokes is this it is going up against last week's album, Duster, and their album Stratosphere. I think this uh, is a pretty easy yeah, one. It's the strokes, <laughs> Strokes all around, I believe. Yeah, yeah. it is the Strokes all around. No, um, no hate, no hate to Stratosphere. No hate. No, not at all. Very cool. Very Thank different. You to Tilly I think for Tilly it would on. also agree. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Strokes is. An actual indie rock classic, Um, you know, is this it, the modern age, someday. You know, Duster Duster has some good songs, but uh, it was just a bit hard to get into and a bit uh, bit weird. It doesn't have as (laughs) as much going on either, I think. The Strokes is a much bigger project. Yeah. If you you know what I mean. The scope is there, for sure. Let's move on. Yeah. This one... I'm pretty intrigued to see what you guys this say. Is so so we got the Smith Street band Throw Me in the River, which scored twenty five, is going up against Panic at the Disco, A Fever You Can't Sweat Out, which scored twenty three. Mm. Um pretty surprising scores looking back, mm. I think, when you put them up against each other. For sure. Panic at the Disco had some of the top songs, Time to Dance, Lying is the most fun a girl can have without taking her clothes off. Um and of course, All Right Sins Not Tragedies. Mm. Smith Street Band, Surrey Drive, East London Summer, I Don't Want to Die Anymore, Surrender. Probably like the fattest, one of the fattest albums we've done, <laughs> which surprised me at how fat it was. But I'm going Panic at the Disco because it's a classic pop punk album with some mm. really, really huge timeless songs on there. Maybe not yeah. timeless. Maybe in 10 years, they'll be like, what's going on? But mm-hmm. right now... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there are there are some tracks on there that are definitely not timeless though as well. <laughs> there are some tracks Facts. that have yeah. not Facts. aged very well. <laughs> In terms of uniqueness and creativity, I'm going yeah. Panic the Disco. Mm-hmm. I'm probably going to go Panic as well, just because of legacy For more sure. than anything. I think so. I'd say. I'd I, say yeah. it's yeah, it's a more important album, which is For weird sure. because. That's this is the first one that we've scored an album higher, but it's losing to an album lower. So there that's interesting. Go. Pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I could honestly flip a coin here. I don't. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy. I could go way. either way. Yeah. But I will. We'll piss less less people off <laughs> <laughs> if we put panic yeah. first. So okay, let's go there. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Cool. Moving on. See now, this is like crazy. Number five versus number Which twenty-eight. Whatever people say I am, that's what I'm not by the Arctic Monkeys, is going up against number 28, Bleed American by Jimmy Eat World. We did it so damn dirty. Easy. And it gets such oh, a tough, we... tough first <laughs> opponent. We did it oh, dirty, but I still don't think it's anywhere near Arctic Monkeys. No, of course yeah. not. But I'm <laughs> saying if it, if it draw to, you know. An easier pick, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Beyonce, Daniel, you in love, then who knows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. 
<laughs> I did it rather Sorry, dirty. Jimmy. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going Arctic Monkeys. Um, yeah, of course. <laughs> that, what that yeah. song, 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 <clears throat> song did for me when I was like 15 years old. Poor. Agreed. And it, and it still holds up in terms of being an incredibly fun album. For sure. Yeah. I think. So that's moving through yeah. for sure. All right. <laughs> 12 verse 21. We got Blink-182, Animal of the State. Verse Two-Door Cinema Club, Taurus History. So um, hard. <laughs> so hard. I'm nah, struggling. not for me. I'm it's anima. It's anima of the state, like okay. for sure. That's like one of the best pop punk albums yeah. of all time. Dumpweed, okay. Adam's Song, all the small things. The production on that is so good. Mm. Maybe too good, you could argue, but for what that album needed to be, very good. True. Yeah. You own that as well, Adam. Um, they're hard to compare. Yeah, that's they're for pretty sure. different. And I think that's going to be a problem with a lot of these, but mm. uh, probably Anima. Just looking back, I remember on face value, to- Toodle was so good, but then when I looked yeah. into it, that's true. it was there was a lot of a lot of smoke and mirrors, but mm. there wasn't actually much substance there. Yeah. So I think I'm going to say Blink. Yeah, yeah. I if agree. we had an award for the disappointment of the show, it would be Taurus History. Yeah, it yeah. did. Going it back to it, it's just like mm, this isn't that good. There's a lot of that from like when you're a teenager and you look back and you're like, what was I <laughs> really thinking? Yeah, but maybe it was like a a cheerleader effect. Everyone was listening to him, so you just needed to listen yeah, to him. Yeah, so you just like it. Yeah, definitely. That's I think that's... Def- I mean, there's still some classics on there. You know, mm. Come Back Home, yeah. What You Know, This Is oh, The it's Life. Still, it still makes you feel good. <laughs> yeah. No doubt about sure. it. But If you yeah. put it on the background, you, you're, you're going to be smiling a little bit. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But Anime of the State is going through. Okay, now we're mm-hmm. on to the other side here. So we got number two first. Here we go. <laughs> Justified by Justin Timberlake. Uh, it's closer than you think. Um, <laughs> it is. It is closer, and I'm going Justified. <laughs> did you Did you announce who it's against? Just then. Justified. Oh, sorry. No, <laughs> yeah, I just no said Phoenix. Uh, Wolfgang Amadeus Phoenix <laughs> by Phoenix against Justified versus I Justin to hear Timberlake. You say the name of the album. <laughs> yeah, I can say it. I can you say it. it now. You killed it. Was, um, yeah, I'm going justified. Mm. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> no. I wish I was, but I'm not. <laughs> Justified's got to go. It has. It's sad though. Senorita, I feel <laughs> for you. I do feel for that senorita, but drums. <laughs> yeah, so many classics. But, um, yeah. 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 If, if if the Phoenix album just had "Love Like a Sunset," it would probably still go through. <laughs> yeah, mm. so. that's true. <laughs> but it also has, you know, Lasso, Rome, uh, Litsomania, 1901. Yeah. It's actually come on, insane. Anyway, yeah, that album's going it, deep. Let's move on. When it goes uh, deep, yeah. Now this this is the one you said before. It kind of a weird matchup. We got number fifteen, Little Ugly Man, Mister Thug, Isolation. It's going up against all that always a self titled album, which we did last week. <laughs> they couldn't be more different, eh? Like, no, nah. like, like, maybe not. Hard. This is the most polar opposite thing I've ever The heard. only similarity would be like kind of DIY. Mm. Yeah. That's For it. Sure. That's where the similarities end. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know though. Hey, I don't know first. who I'm going here. I'm going I'll go first. Little ugly man. Okay. I was going to go always probably. Okay. Oh, I just think man. Little Ugly Man, it's so good. But then you get over it. You get over it a bit. And I feel like well, even though I'm yet to get over always yet. That's honestly been one of my favorite new finds, even though I didn't mention it before. Shout out for yeah. Tilly for bringing that in. Yeah. Mm. Um, I can see myself listening to that for years to come. And same with Mr. Fog Isolation, but in bursts. Yeah. Like, I just, yeah, actually, it's, okay. It's not all time. It's not all time. You might have changed it's my just, mind a little bit there. You yeah. know what I mean? It, that's true. It is kind of... It's, kind, it's just like a meme. It is. Mr. Fog meme. Isolation. Yeah. It's, like, it's a genius meme. And it's a meme. great meme. It's a genius yeah. meme. Maybe it is always. I I changed my mind. No, it is always. Because I is. was gonna go. I was gonna go always anyway. But oh, yeah. um, always gets. Yeah, little ugly mate. It feels like it didn't need to be. An, if it wasn't an album, it would still be really good yeah. and really funny and work really well. Yeah. If that kind of makes sense, like I'm sorry, it could be a TV man. show. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm going Explain. always as well. So, uh, rip. That sucks. Because we just said it would go deep. Yeah, you both had it as the dark horse, and you both Aww. you both picked against it. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> oh, I just thought you guys were going for that for sure. So, oh well. All right, moving on. Anyway, next. 7 verse 26, we got Dookie by Green Day is going up against <laughs> my worst take, Future Nostalgia <laughs> of, uh, of, uh, by Dua, Dua Lipa. Um, it's Dookie. Which, which it's one are Dookie. you going, Will? <laughs> <laughs> it's Dookie, but like, yeah. I cannot believe it. I really like Future Nostalgia and I still listen to a few songs off that album, but I just remember what you said, Adam, where it was like, it's not reinventing the wheel. Man, that's true. I don't know yeah. what I was thinking that way. It, it's, but. They kind of like, they masked it a little bit, I think. Mm. Like the whole <laughs> PR campaign around it was like, it's bringing something new. But it's not, it, yeah. like doing something nostalgic is like the opposite. So anyway, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> moving on. Everyone's being nostalgic. Yeah, yeah Dookie by Green Day is <laughs> yeah. another one. In Easy. the top three or four most important punk albums ever. So mm-hmm. unfortunately, Dua Lipa. Goodbye. See you later. All right, number 10 verse 23. Yo, this is... Mm, not hard for me. I don't know. You guys might think otherwise. Uh, You're Gonna Miss It All by Modern Baseball. Uh, two th- uh, 2010's classic up against Radio by Travis Scott. Pretty I'm, hard. I'm what are you smirking at, Adam? Split. Um, me too. If I'm looking at it subjectively, I will choose You're Gonna Miss It All. But like objectively, I think Rodeo cannot be like underdone by how important it is to like trap music, trap and yeah. rap music today. It is like, it's just, and it was just so the ahead way of it time. sounds as well. Like if yeah. you think about all the different components that went into making that album, like it's just this big grand, you know, <laughs> it's like comparing a, a it's so Ferrari crazy. to a station wagon, <laughs> you know, but it's a nice yeah. station wagon that you like, but I, th- I think and it's, I, yeah. I think it's I'm, I was, I'm going to go Mobo just because, the songs on that, ah, oh, I know it's radio, but I'm gonna go. You're gonna miss it all anyway. Yeah, I love Damn that it. album. It's That's so fair. it's so fun. It's so infectious. If you get it, it's your favorite album. Yeah. If, if if you like Modern Bait, so I'm going. You're uh, gonna miss it I, all. What, are you guys going radio or? Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Down to Brad. I've I'm, got down. I'm I've got go down radio. here radio, but that's purely like, without me even trying to give my own opinion into it. I might have to stick to it, even though I like Miss It All better. You're gonna miss it all way, like way better, even. But in terms of impact, we've got to go radio. I think. Yeah. Which is rip, rip to the Mobo fans out there. Yeah, sorry guys. That's so sad. I'm so, so sorry. sorry. <laughs> oh no. Just checking the Instagram messages we had. Um, our boy Chris <laughs> Hendry did say, "I'm picking Mobo to go far." <laughs> oh man. Oh, I'm sorry, Chris. But uh, Chris. Blair. Shout out Blair. He said, it's got to be rodeo for me. So there you go. Yeah. All right. There Whatever, you go. Blair. Uh, let's move on. <laughs> so next we got the three seed. Discovery by Daft Punk. It's going up against Thank You Next by Ariana Grande. It's got to be. Let's Discovery. keep this short and sweet. It's, it's be. obviously Discovery, but. <laughs> Shout out to Ariana though. That's a there's great There's still a couple album. of songs on that Ariana Grande album that I think are bops. Yeah, there's a lot on there. NASA? But- NASA yeah, guys, nah. yeah, great track. Nope, nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, I that's no my good. least favorite album we've done. I'll say it. Yeah, I've not gone back to it at all. No, I haven't either. So, sorry. I was surprised Sunday at the fans. time. I thought it was yeah. better than I was expecting, but yeah, yeah, it's it's no discovery. That's for sure. <laughs> that is one hundred percent for sure. Okay, we've got three more to go in this round of thirty-two. Uh, next up. The only album that I gave a 10 to on the show so far, Toxicity by System of a Down, is going up against How I'm Feeling Now by Charlie XCX. I wanted Charlie XCX to go far- further, but mm. it's Toxicity for me, personally. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I it's, And it's, it's hard to say, but yeah. As I said before, it was pretty instantaneously that I took back my Toxicity remarks. But mm-hmm. I think that if we did Charlie, if we did her album before this one, I think I would take mm-hmm. that one over Toxicity. There you go. But, That's a big call. But I will yeah. take Toxicity over this one. Yeah, yeah. I love how she's pushing the envelope in pop music, but yeah. it's Toxicity. <laughs> yeah. It is Toxicity after all. But yeah. But yeah. It sucks. I'll get, I'm going to, I'm going to get into why I'm choosing these albums when we get into the harder matchups. I'm going to leave yeah. Toxicity. Okay. Because, yeah. um, yeah, let's do that. I, yeah, as I said, my only 10. So, I'm backing it hard. 
Uh, next, next we got my dark horse. Not really a dark horse at number six, but from under the cork tree by Fallout Boy, up against parachutes by Coldplay. Bray from Dear Seattle brought Coldplay onto the show. Uh, surprisingly, not like obviously it's their debut album, so it, it wasn't going to be 2020 Coldplay of Tropical House. No, but um, <laughs> this could be the easiest one yet. It's from under the cork tree. Yeah, it is from under the cork tree. Without a doubt, sure. the lyrics. On from under the cork tree, uh, some of the best, some they of the are. worst <laughs> at the same time, the best. Yeah, mm-hmm. but shout um, out to Patty pop punk. That's pop punk for you. Yeah, and also shout out to Jago and Rory again. That's uh, another <laughs> episode number eight. If you want to go check it out, it was a fun one. Last one of the round of thirty-two. This I think I might be the tiebreaker for this one. Yeah, Tyler yeah. the Creator. Yep. Tyler the Creator. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like to say Igor at the same time as Creator. Okay, Tyler the Creator. That's the take. His album Igor is going up against Settle by Disclosure. Brad, who do you have? I've got Settle. I'll say it. It's my apart from Discovery. It is the best. What personal opinion? The best. House album, not collection of like not EP or collaborative project, best album I've ever heard. And Eagle's great, Eagle's awesome, but Settle does more for me and it always has and it always will. So there you go. Nice. And I'm, Adam, I think I'm I know who you're going. You gave this one Eagle. a 10. Yeah. <laughs> I would, Eagle is my favorite album out of all of them. So it's my top. If I could pick Jeez. this, I would rank it at the single top because I think it's just I I like I don't really listen to house music. So I can't really it is a weird matchup for me. So there are a lot of points in Saddle that I get bored. <laughs> Even though I can appreciate it, but I get bored pretty often in that album when it gets to well where you're meant to dance because I just I'm not a dancer, so what am I doing listening to that? Do you know what I mean? Well, that's it with that yeah. album, though. You, yeah. you're, not, you're not always going to be listening to an album and want to dance. That was no. what I found hard about it as well. Yeah. After There's like, like yeah. After like okay. white noise. Yeah. But that's why I, you I, listen to it though to dance. Yeah. You're not listening to it. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, but it's Igor, on a it's on a um universal album then. It's not. Yeah. Igor, you can dance. You got dancers in there. You can cry. They've got all different emotions in there. It's got a fair. I can I can quote Brad. In that episode, he <laughs> loves a, an album with a start, middle, and end, I and sure a story. Do. And that's exactly what this has. It has a very particular story, I think. Um, one that's definitely in the hip-hop world never happened as far as a man. It's a, an album about he's coming out in an album, basically. So it's pretty I iconic, will say this is I like think. probably my favorite hip-hop album as well. Yeah, like, and it's not even really hip hop. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's more pop. It's it's just like and, everything. Um, I just think when I'm laying on my deathbed, I'm gonna be cherishing settle over eagle. Right. In the well, long run. Yeah. Fair enough. But so I, we'll, I'm the exact opposite good luck. with eagle. No, it, I'm sorry, Brad. Yeah. It's an easy one for me. It's eagle. I. Oh yeah, yeah I know. I I, know. I actually <laughs> really liked eagle, and I still listen to it pretty frequently. I have not gone back to a, a single song. Off settle. There's a couple of songs in a in a playlist that I have that I play at work. Off se- off settle. Skip them every time. I, I um. I yeah. I'm not against settle. I I like settle, but I think uh, what is different for me with settle than like uh, discovery or any of like the more electronic ones we've done. I think because it's so feature heavy, for me mm. that kind of takes away from. Like I like that Ty- Tyler has heaps of features, but there Tyler is the main attraction if you get what i mean for sure all the way through whereas yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go fair enough i get it all right yeah. i hear you nah it's all good <laughs> that's cool that's it's fine all right, we got it's a bit sad we let's got the go. sweet 16 coming up now so let's do it let's go back up to the top and we're gonna do the sweet 16 now we have the avalanches since i left you going up against rage against machine self-titled Jeez. man Polar opposites. Yeah, they are complete opposites. <laughs> uh, it's got to. I. Is it's since I left you? Surely it, it, it is. I. It is. I think I might go on Rage Against the Machine. Obviously, obviously, you know, the number one seed. You both gave it ten out of ten. So it's pretty. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be hard to beat. I just think. Yeah. 
terms of for me and what I like in music, Rage Against the Machine's debut album is one of one of the best. It, it, in this episode, we did do mm-hmm. it dirty, but it came up against Toxicity, which is like one of my favorite albums of all time. So <laughs> on par yeah, with it for sure. Yeah, just the lyrics on it, the guitars on it. So I mean, you could say the same thing about Avalanche. Is it's so revolutionary and unique? But uh, that's cool. I'm not. I'm not upset. I'm not upset. So Avalanches is going through. Is that confirmed? Yeah. Yes. Confirmed. Right. confirmed. You sure? All right. Yes. Moving on. <laughs> oh man, this is a hard one. The Bends by Radiohead against Sweet Cheer- Sweet Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge by My Chemical Romance. Mm-hmm. Who do you have and Jeez. why? Well, from my last, uh, from it be- being the Bends before, yeah. I'm gonna go. Three cheers. I'm going to go... For my same points as last time. Yeah. I'm going to go with three cheers as well, um, I think, on this one. Just because <laughs> I, di- I did really like that Radiohead album. It's not their best album, though. If it was... I've said this about a lot of artists so far, but... Um, yeah, I think three cheers is probably more revolutionary and obviously impacted a lot of different bands. So, yeah, that one. There you go. I would have... Like 52% yeah. to My Chemical Romance and 48% the Benz. The Benz is... Yeah. Oh, Benz I don't is know, good. eh? I probably would have split the two. I mean, it's all good. Don't have to now because you two both chose My Chemical Romance. But the the Benz, it took me off guard at how... It, it was a masterpiece in a way. So you could say the same mm-hmm. thing about Three Cheers, but in a way different way. But in terms of mm. musically and the ideas they threw at you... The Benz was pretty, pretty good. But uh, that's cool. Three yeah, cheers yeah. going through. Now we got... Jeez. Going deep. Yeah. It, I, I did say I Get did on. say it could go deep. Um, So we got Is This It by The Strokes is going up against A Fever You Can't Sweat Out by Panic The Disco. Oh, oh my so God. Hard. Uh, I'm, I'm going The Strokes. I mean, uh, I mean so much. What? No, come yeah. on. No, come like, on. But you can't just say that. Let, are you serious? <laughs> I'm going Phoebe Can't Sweat Out. Like, I find it easy. Brendan Urie's but vocals on that album. They were 17 when they made that album. They were 17. Yeah. Think of how outrageous yeah, that album is. The Strokes well. is this it, as good as it is. It kind of stays at the one level. You listen to Panic at the Disco, Phoebe yeah. Can't Sweat Out. Yeah, but that, it's not always a good thing in Panic at the Disco. I, I know we said it in the pod, the guys were big fans of electronic sections. They're all trash. In that Panic Disco album, they none the of hits and misses so, on that on that Panic album. They're it's big like fifty fifty. Yeah, for me, yeah. I, I actually couldn't even like comprehend that they were <laughs> that you guys liked it because I was laughing listening to it. I said, "This is really bad. it is pretty ridiculous." But, yeah. but I love that ridiculous. The big pop punk songs are great. Yeah, but it doesn't always pay off. I, I think the Strokes they got it for sure. I think. It's quite convincing. It's, as well. it's perfect. All right, I'm saving my voice. We're moving on. Yeah. <laughs> Far out. This is enough. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> these are all tough, tough. They Arctic monkeys. Whatever people yeah. say, and that's what I'm not. Is going up against Enter of the State by Blink 182. This is a sweet 16. Oh my goodness. This is so hard. But I have an answer. I, I'm. I think you guys are probably both going to go Anima. No, I reckon Brad's I'm going Anima. Go. I reckon Brad's going Arctic Monkeys. I'm going Anima. Oh, actually, no, I don't know. Eh? Adam, are you going Arctic Monkeys? Arctic Monkeys? Yeah, just because uh, Black has had more of an influence on me, I think. As I said, when we did the Anima of the State episode, I didn't really get into Blink till later. So Arctic Monkeys has In terms heart, of bands, sure. it goes Metallica. Uh, tier one for me just because they were the first band that I really got into first band I saw yeah. live and then Arctic Monkeys and Blink-182 are absolutely tied for number Equal. two Yeah, especially these two albums oh man I don't know I'll save your legs mate I'm going Arctic okay. Monkeys okay that's cool because oh. front front to back it's just a better piece of work I think yeah. front to back yeah. I don't I Come don't know on. if that's true. Blink that Anime of the State is. album is it it's got all the small things as like the eighth track and Adam's song. So deep in the album. Yeah, but I don't I like my 
my album's like novels. <laughs> and like the Arctic <laughs> Monkeys is also like kind of a concept album. So those albums always go to the front for me. Yeah. Usually. I think, yeah. I think Even as, a, as a piece of art, it's, yeah. it's got it. Yeah. Over All right. <laughs> That's fine. No, that uh, that Arctic Monkeys album's like... Yeah, exactly. Is, don't, yeah. don't That, don't hit, do it that album hits me in the feels. Okay, we're moving on. This is the easiest one of the round of 16. Uh, Wolfgang Amadeus Phoenix by Phoenix up against Always is self-titled. It's Phoenix, isn't it? Yeah, it's Phoenix. For sure. It is Phoenix. So that little top corner, that's a, that's an easy run for Phoenix. They've just jogged on <laughs> through true. to the, the really top is. eight. Yeah. It's like a 4 sweep. sweep. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's that's all good. Um, Always was good. Uh, that Archie Marry Me by Always, that, that'll be played a lot for me this year, I think. It's great. It's great. But it ain't no Wolfgang, baby. It no, is no not. I didn't hear any sunsets <laughs> on the Always album, so. No. <laughs> no. All right, moving exactly. down the list. This could be kind of easy. Oh, I don't know. Actually, I don't want to talk too soon because I don't know what you guys are going to say. We got Green Day Dookie against Rodeo by Travis Scott. I'm going Dookie. What are you guys going? I'm going to go Dookie okay. too. I think. Gee, I was going to get Rodeo. Are going to go Rodeo? I just think that Green Day album, it's so crisp and on point. There's nothing too mm. much about it and... It just does exactly what it needs That's to do. That's true. I yeah. think I, I, I just well, yeah. You go. I, I based my Travis Scott one off Legacy, and I'm doing the same again here. I think Green Day's probably mm-hmm. just had more impact overall. True. Yeah. It's pretty. Early, I just think when I album. think of when I think pop punk, I don't think Dookie by Green Day, and that's like just me. I know other people obviously don't feel that way, yeah. but I I do. So I was gonna go radio, and it's cool. We'll keep moving. We keep continuing. That could be just like yeah. a, a difference in our genre taste, I think, that one. There's probably mm, a few people exactly. up in arms, but that's cool. Um, Okay, I might get angry here. Daft Punk Discovery versus Toxicity by System of a Down. It's Jeez. toxicity for me. Like, I love Daft Punk. I gave it a 9 out of 10. That album is ridiculous and it's so good. And it's one of the best mm, yeah. electronic albums of all time. However, for me, Toxicity by System of a Down is the hardest hitting, funniest at the same time, (laughs) really emotive album I've ever heard. And I love it so much. Now, please tell me one of you are going Toxicity. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I'm I'm going. I've got bad news. No. Yeah, Yeah, I've got bad news for you, buddy. It just is way more important. Is it though? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Think of like think of in, pop in, music. In eighty years, Discovery will be remembered and Toxicity won't. Think of any like pop house track. I reckon our, have Discovery our grandkids think. will know Daft Punk, but they will not know System of a Down, probably. Yeah, and that's a rot. I'm gonna teach my grandkids System of a Down. <laughs> All right, yeah. kid, here's needles. Pull the tape worm out of your ass. <laughs> hey. All right. <laughs> I don't know, hey. Yeah. Are you sure, Brad? Oh, sorry, Brad, bro. you sorry, love mate. Toxicity. Come on, think about this. I love Toxicity. Yeah, but he loves I really do. No, no, no. Well. Think about this, Brad. It's it's year nine. We're in the music room. We've just walked in. <laughs> I've tuned the guitar down. Brad, you want to grab? A, <laughs> you want to jump on the, the the drum kit? There, we'll play Forest. The skins, my bro. Yeah, and I I, I cherish those moments like nothing else. Brad, but <laughs> Brad, you've got. I know. I, Adam, don't worry. Don't worry. He's not convincing me. It's fine. <laughs> right. It's fine. I was just gonna give another. Yeah. Okay. What about this, Brad? What about this one? <laughs> <laughs> it's Rock Am Ring 2011. You're watching it on YouTube. And Serge, he's singing Prison Song and he's got his hand waving in the air. Yeah. Just like this. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. It's it great. Is great. The Prison yeah. Song. But. Motorhead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, School my School of Rock reference, I'm if sorry. anyone got that. Fine. We're moving on. Yeah. <laughs> Fallout Boy from Under the Cork Tree is going up against Igor by Tyler the Creator. Adam, who do you have? But mine's eagle, yeah. This so is so I have Bob from fans. under the court tree. See, we've been me and Adam have been ganging up on you a bit, Will here in this sweet mm. sixteen. Don't do it. To, don't get rid of from under the court tree here. <laughs> you can't. Ah, uh, it's eagle. No, it's I just bought not. it on vinyl. No, I just bought okay. it on vinyl the other day. All right, <laughs> it's got to be from under the court tree. I'm sorry, is a great my album. bro. I do love that album, but I think Igor is better written. Than, Better, better written? Yes, for oh sure. Oh, my God. Okay. 
When was absolutely of the cork tree? Look at the lyrics side it's by hit side. Hit after hit. Igor, it's messy. It's a messy album. No, it's, it's not. Messy. We we ha- we heard your take on the pod, Will, and we both disagreed. Yeah, and I you think a wrong. few other people did as well. Yeah, so I think you you're alone. That album is overrated. There, I said it. Front of the cork tree <laughs> will go down as one of the best pop punk albums of all time. It's the most ridiculous lyrics, but they work so well. <laughs> Paddy Girl, Stump, up, Paddy Stump's up. vocal chops. <laughs> Tyler, it's, he, it's just Tyler not... barely raps on the album. Exactly, doesn't matter. He exactly, sings, yeah, he does like he does everything. It doesn't move you like it's it a should. Fluid doesn't. Album. Oh come on! It really does. I think it's just you there, Will. I hate to say it. <sighs> yeah, I'm sorry about it. It's brilliant. It is yeah, purely. I don't brilliant. think there'll be any anger either. I'm angry. I think, yeah, <laughs> you really you are. I'm turning green. Yeah, you have the right to be angry as well. You have the right. I'm turning That's green. <laughs> oh, sorry, Will. We're getting, we're getting up on you right now. Yeah, you boy. Yeah. You, you, you both joined the Skype. You both joined the Skype call before when you're like, "All right, Brad, you know what you're doing." Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, we're gonna ruin it for we, Will. Uh, yeah, we're in the DMs. You get rid <laughs> of really panic. Right. You get rid of blink. You get rid of Fallout Boy. You get rid of toxicity. Yeah. We just got rid of all the rock albums. Yeah, which is. Which is a bit sad, but I don't. Sad. I'm not mad. It's it reflects what I, how and why I listen to music. So yeah, and how that nostalgia goggles taken off reveals the truth. See, that's the thing. Since we started this <laughs> podcast, I have been thinking, yeah, I got to take my nostalgia goggles off. And when they're off, I still think I just want to go back to these albums because they're just they're just better well, for me. Go. That's great. That's great for you. <laughs> but, but this is democracy, my friend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we need, <laughs> democracy. democracy manifest, I'm afraid. We need a yeah. fourth and fifth member of the podcast who strictly only listens to mm. rock and roll who will get on my <laughs> side. <laughs> Will's minion. <laughs> <laughs> Mini Will. <laughs> Mini Will. <laughs> With the gold jacket on as well. Has a gold, another gold jacket. <laughs> that would be amazing. To watch. All right. Uh, Actually. Let's, let's get into the top eight. Let's go. Top eight, we're in September. It's finals footy season. Kicking it off <laughs> with the Avalanches Since I Left You against Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge by My Chemical Romance. <laughs> it continues. So no, sorry, no, no, I am. So no, so I was about to say I'm on okay. your side. It's Since I Left You. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah. cool. It, um, cool. That is a great album. Yeah. But, sorry, MCR. But Since I Left You, we haven't really spoken about Since I Left You a whole lot, but if you haven't listened to it, you have to listen to it, and it was the first time that I listened to that album, and I thought, "Man, this is very impressive." And then when you hear, and then I found out that it's all samples. I was like, "What?" It's just mm. like a, it's like a whole ex- new experience. It goes beyond me. like normal music. Yeah, normal it's a different. Music. It's right like time. when you do you remember when like three D glasses at the movies first came in, <laughs> yeah, and you were just like. This is completely what's going on. I've never. They were, event- they were eventually like pretty shit there, so yeah. it's not. Yeah, it's yeah, not <laughs> no, yeah. It's, maybe that's a bad. <laughs> yeah. That's a bad. No, one, I know what you mean, but revolution. Yeah, like it, it changed. Looking at yeah. things a different way. That's what you're trying to say. Yeah, yeah. I feel you. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Pretty. Yeah. We'll keep moving. Great album. We'll keep moving. <laughs> All right. Keep yeah. Going. Let's go down. So this is the first time, and I'm actually pretty surprised this happened. First time two albums are meeting. And they've already met in an episode. We got the Strokes. Is this it against the Arctic Jeez. Monkeys? Whatever people say, I'm that's what I'm not. Now wow. the Strokes it's won its episode, but we all gave both albums nines. The only reason the Strokes won is because Darren, <laughs> shout out Darren, Darren, gave Is this it a ten? Can we ring him up? <laughs> <laughs> Phone a friend. But he would just say he would just say the Strokes win. Yeah. Um. Oh, this is hard. I could flip a coin. I could flip a coin as well. But if you think about it this way, no strokes, there's no Arctic Monkeys. And that's for sure. Because we know that Alex Turner is mm. on record saying his biggest influence was this album. So Yeah, that's a good point. But I'm going the Arctic Monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going the strokes, <laughs> unfortunately. Oh. It's just a better piece of work. What are you doing, Adam? Like it does they both hit the exact same buttons. But I think the strokes just do it better. Yeah, I'm. Just. I'm not. I feel like I'm gonna have a panic attack. I probably. And I think that I said that on the pod as well. Yeah, I'm not angry about what you pick here, Adam. But um, yeah, you're probably gonna regret it either way, whichever way you go. I think. <laughs> I am. I am gonna regret it either. Way. Uh, <laughs> you're fired. 
strokes based on my previous remark. Just a, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the succession of more things. important. Yeah, more important, and it, they're the mo- more original idea, I guess. Yeah, there you go. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I it think. Could have gone I, I think if I heard both albums for the first time now, I would be a bigger Strokes fan than Arctic Monkeys. Mm. It's one of those things that cool. I just had a more of a history with it. So, yeah. Um, so that's cool. We um, we did have James Seldon. Shout out to Seldo. He thought that Arctic Monkeys will go deep, <laughs> and they are going very deep in this bracket here. Mission failed. Now we'll get them next time. we're moving on. Phoenix, Wolfgang, Amadeus, Phoenix. It's going up against Dookie by Green Day. Um, Jeez. I, I, I would have thought it's... <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me yeah. too. Um, Me too. Will. No, I'm in agreement. So it's Phoenix. <laughs> yeah, it okay, is. Okay, cool. But I, I thought you going to go Dookie. Just by a whisker. It's yeah. only probably because, uh, for me, Phoenix doesn't have a... There's no d- down for me. I can listen to any mm-hmm. one of those songs. And have a good time. Whereas there, there are a couple on Dookie that are Dookies, a bit repetitive. Repetitive, yeah. Just that's its only. It's that's only, its downfall. only downfall. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a couple of songs that if you didn't tell me the name, I wouldn't be able to tell them apart. Mm. Whereas that's. Phoenix is huge. Love like I said it before. Love like a sunset. Lasso, that drum intro and riff is so unique i haven't and i haven't heard a real drum <laughs> yeah i know it's crazy i haven't heard an album like <laughs> wolfgang and i probably won't yeah no, so, it's um, really good they did something truly special they did now adam you keep arcing up about freaking eagle by tyler creator <laughs> is it gonna be daft punk discovery <sighs> i'll spoil that no nah. <laughs> i'm going yeah. discovery i Ego is my favorite album of them all, but I can even see Daft Punk's is more important. So it, it should go in front. But Ego is in my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> but I can see it's why Daft you, Punk Will. should. It's Daft up Punk. to you. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm, I'm going Discovery. Um, yeah. There you go. <laughs> that album's far no, too I, good I, and far too trailblazing. <laughs> To, yeah. mm. And I exactly. wanted Igor out ages ago, but <laughs> <laughs> so I'm no. a bit filthy at it. No beef. I'm, I'm happy but. he got he got all the way there. I'm 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 satisfied. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah. He's done well. Did get in the top eight. He bowed <laughs> out. Yeah. To uh, to a higher seed. We have our yeah. top four. Yeah. We have our top four. We have since I left Ooh, you by boy. the avalanches. We have Arctic Monkeys. Whatever people say, and that's what I'm not. <laughs> we have Wolfgang. Hey, we, have the, we have the strokes. No, don't we have we? the strokes. We picked the strokes. We picked the strokes, Will. Oh shit! I've wrote down Arctic Monkeys. I just thought, <laughs> I just thought maybe yeah, you guys would let that one slide. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Will. <laughs> I hate to say it. See, this is, see, this is the thing. The strokes. The next matchup. I'll just say it for the people who can hear. Is since I left you by the Avalanches versus is this it by the Strokes? The Strokes aren't beating the Avalanches. Arctic Monkeys could have beat the Avalanches nah, here. Nah, nah, nah. Neither. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> You guys know who I'm going for. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm. It's going, up to you guys. I'm going since I left you as well. You guys have an agenda, oh. I think. <laughs> no, it's not. I think it's, it's a. Yeah. We just think alike. I think we have you, the same music taste. Yeah. No, if if I had to choose, I'd. Well, I do have to choose. I'm going since I left you as well. But. True. I'm, <sighs> I I see where you're coming from. But l- like looking back, not thinking about my past, and looking at these al- two albums. At how good they are, straight up, I would choose Strokes over Arctic Monkeys, and therefore, since I left you over, this is it. So, yeah, 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 I'm, I'm the same. <sighs> All right, Oop. Phoenix, Sorry, Wilbur. Wolfgang Amadeus Phoenix against Discovery by Daft Punk, the two French lords. I knew they would meet. I had a feeling they would meet. <laughs> I knew you'd come. <laughs> yep. Oh. Um. Who's who's going first? Because I don't want to. Do we have French violins playing in the background right now? I hope we <laughs> yeah, do. let's get some going. Yeah. Bit of French Bring back. baguette music. Yeah, <laughs> baguette. it made in the back. <laughs> yeah. It's a beautiful day. Um, um, Should you not? I'll go first because I think this will be the first one I can go first for. Mm-hmm. I'm going Discovery here. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going Discovery. Mm-hmm. I think with, I don't know, Phoenix, it's got about 10 songs, which is not a knock. I love 10 song albums, but I feel as though they're just 10 songs. Besides Love Like a Sunset, it doesn't feel as huge to me as Discovery, where just Discovery starts off so damn hot with One More Time. Uh, we got Superheroes in the middle, which is huge. You got Digital Love, which is like an insane song. And I just think those songs, matched, matched with all everything that's going on in those songs, the production is insane. The instruments they use is ridiculous. It's pretty much a rock album. Mm. And um, <clears throat> like I love that Phoenix album. It's been one of my favorite albums, but I don't know. I'm going to give the nod to Discovery, I think. Oh, my stomach is like... Oh, I'm so scared. I don't know. Like, it's Phoenix album is so huge as well, though. <laughs> you, you missed a. It's hit after hit. It is hit after hit. But I, I think that was 1901. My, yeah. Lasso, Fences, Rome, Countdown. Mm. Maybe you're convincing me here. Actually, these are Jeez. all fucking massive songs. Girlfriend. It oh. is indie rock perfection. Oh, yeah, I might change I would, my I would, pick. It's my favorite indie rock album. I think I might change my pick here. Actually, nineteen oh one is yeah. It's so good. Say, it, yeah. <laughs> say it again. But I, I haven't. I haven't changed. I haven't said exactly. Yeah, me neither. I'm going discovery. <laughs> I, I'll say mine. I'm going discovery because I think it's for me personally. It's had a bigger impact on the way I listen to music, and I think the whole world has been blessed by that album. More so than Wolfgang. And that's all I got. So I'm going Discovery. Good luck to use. I might go to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Um, no, I'll wait. I'll wait. I'm, uh, I'm like just so... I don't know. I've actually... I think I've, I've flipped. I thought I was thinking Discovery because of that same reason, Brad. But now I'm thinking, what's it to me? What's this album exactly. to me? Exactly. And I think, think about it. Oh, man. Should we phone a friend? Do we know anyone uh, French? Rock off. <laughs> rock off. Is this paper rock? <laughs> no, no, we can't do that. <laughs> I'm going to go... I don't know. What are you saying, Adam? Adam, you give your take. Let's see. Well, Who are you going? they both have big... Because, oh, yeah, as you said before, Discovery also has massive hits. They've both got the hits. They're all there. They both have depth. That's they both sure. have depth. Yeah. That's what I'm basing and mine off, I think. I think Discovery might have the better depth. I don't know. I think they've kind of got equal depth. But when Rome, the... when Rome is like your deep cut on the Phoenix album, that's saying something. What a song. So good. They're exactly. all good. Every single like, girlfriend is so good. I was listening to that today. That's like saying like face-to-face or Voyages, your deep cut. And they're as deep as it gets and they're still... So good, yeah, for discovery. So pick your poison, I guess, boys. You know where I stand. I'm, I'm going, going discovery. I'm going discovery. Yeah, oh, thank you. I was a I'm clean sweep. Uh, <laughs> oh shit! Just, At the end of the day, yeah, I think it's more important. And also, I do like that they're characters. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I like characters in music, exactly. and it's it's too iconic to ignore. But Phoenix, very close. On a different day. I could have gone Phoenix for sure. Yeah. But yeah. here it is. That was a worthy battle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I'm glad we found an outcome. That's yeah, for sure. two absolute oh. gladiators which just went into the ring. That then. was. Um, yeah. Fighting with baguettes. We have two <laughs> albums left. The number one seed and the number three seed. Jeez. Since I left you by the Avalanches, which we gave 29 out of 30 in its, al- in its uh, episode 13. It's going up against Discovery by Daft Punk, which we gave 27 out of 30 in episode uh, 7, I believe. Oh, I'm going... Let's go first. I'm going Discovery. I'm going to say it right now. I'm Jeez. going Discovery. Because these albums are very similar. But I think for me, and it's very obvious with the albums that I've been choosing, I am... I like my guitars. I like my drums. I like my... <laughs> 
rock music and this Daft Punk album, it brings so much of that and then adds it to another genre, which is insane. And when you hear it and when mm-hmm. you notice that, you can't... If you're a rock guy and you say you don't like Daft Punk, <laughs> you are lying or you haven't listened to it. A rock guy? Are you a rock guy? I'm a rock guy, man. A rock guy. He's a rock guy. I like That's that. Sure. I rock and I, I like roll. <laughs> they call me the rock guy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, um, but yeah, I'm going movie. Discovery because I think it just brings so much. I'm not the Avalanches is so unique, but I think Discovery brings so much. And for me, I'd rather put that on and have a good time. Oh, but so does Since I Left You, but there's like 30 different genres in there. And yeah, it does. It does. This. But I don't think that's an <clears throat> album for everyone. I don't think it is. That's true. I, that I, true. I, I genuinely don't think if you, I'm probably very wrong. But if you either didn't have a really big respect for music or if you weren't a musician or if you didn't really get it, if you were a casual listener, mm. you wouldn't like Since I Left You as much. That's tr- mm. That is very true. That uh, is but true. I think those complexing characters and the the way it's all put together is just That's something what makes more. It good. Yeah. There's something more. It just brings something else to the table other than Discovery. And it has those moments of like, one more time, think of Live at Domino's. If you think Digital Love, think Since I Left You, the, the title track. I just think at a gr- on a grand scale, I've got to give it to Since I Left You. It is my favourite album of all time. Versing like my second or third favourite album of all time. Well, aren't you lucky? You get your favourite album in the top two <laughs> where mine gets pissed off in the second round. I always <laughs> get my way. <laughs> I, it's, yeah, I'm sorry to say that. But I'm going since I left you. It's up to you, Adam. Good oh, luck. Oh, why? Every time. <laughs> not every time. Um, You've been ganging up on me. It's just like the last two. Yeah. Look, he's got to gang up on me again, isn't he? Uh oh. Oh, uh, God. It's like picking a friend now. Now it's like personal. <laughs> um. Look at the gold blazer I have on. No, I'm, I'm not too. I'm not too upset. Whatever way you go here, but I just oh. really think that discovery is. The better musical album. The better body of work. I think <laughs> you know. I think I think I think Discovery is a more important album, for sure. Because without Discovery, again, we've seen this a few times. I mean the Avalanches they sampled Daft Punk a lot and they've yeah. done live sets where they play heaps of Daft Punk, so they're obviously big fans. Exactly. But I agree. I agree. It is more important. It is a more important album. But but we're not choosing more important. We're choosing we're not, a better album. I exactly. have a better listening experience with Since I Left You. So I'm, I'm going to go Since I Left You. Are you sure you, you want to do that? Yeah, I do. Yeah. You'll lock it in? It, it changed, changed my brain. <laughs> I reckon it changed my molecular. Yeah. <laughs> it changed, it changed my, the way me to my I listen core. to music. Yeah. No, it, and it's, it's a must changed my be. perspective on music. Oh, yeah. I'll agree with that, actually. It really did. Yeah. Mm. So, um, does that mean it's we like, have a winner? It's like, it's like the... <laughs> it's, uh, I'll give you one more analogy. It's like the birth of Christ. It's like before <laughs> listening to Since I Left You and after. Yeah. There was the Old like, Testament and then the BC. New. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we do. We have a if winner. If you're comparing it to Jesus himself, it's got to be number one <laughs> on a little podcast from Australia. Yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> as well. They're Aussies. <laughs> yeah. Can't just exactly, go for the yeah. Frenchman. Woo. Are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> it's since Come I on. left you. You go for Australia right. Olympics. You go for Australia. Since I left you by the Avalanches from Melbourne, Australia. Yeah. yeah. The number one seed. How boring. But number one seed since I left you by the Avalanches. Yeah. Has won the bracket episode. <laughs> Woohoo! Woo. Oh man. Yeah. I backed that. Yeah, I mean it was gonna be tough for it to lose. Mm-hmm. It was its tournament to lose. Um I'm pretty upset. I'm pretty upset. Uh, let me ask you this, Adam. <laughs> yeah. If Phoenix made the the final, would it have beaten since I left you? Uh no. Nah. <laughs> what about Igor? What about Igor? Yeah. Igor But I like even see like I saw Igor and Discovery and I could see that Discovery was it's the bigger album. I, I Igor is my personal favorite that doesn't mean that i think it's the it's gonna win the, the big bucks i think since i left you is it's the right decision 
Brad, who did you have in your mock-up of making the top two? Was it these two albums? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It really was. I always get my way. <laughs> um, yeah, it's because you two have been... Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> working behind We're the in the scenes. DMs an hour ago. Um, yeah, I'm not mad. Uh, as boring as it probably was. I mean, there's no... But that's what happens in, in life, you know? Stuff happens it, it the way it should. It just means that we've, we've proved ourselves right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it means that our podcast is perfect and everyone should like share it yeah. and follow it. I mean, it. we gave the number one album the number one title, so give us a five-star rating and review on the Apple Podcast. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> there's a reason... Hey, there's a reason that Novak Djokovic wins a lot of Grand Slams. Yeah. Because he's the number yeah, one seed. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Facts. Facts. But, you know... It's always next season. There is. You'll get, you'll get your way next season. We'll yeah. Let's, right. Well, I'm keen. I'm keen to see next season. We're going to have 32 different albums, and we're kicking it off next week with a huge guest. This one's going to be very, very fun. Um, we have Thomas Busby from Tazzy Band, Luca Brasi, one of our all-time favorite bands. Crazy. We're pretty stoked just, to have him on. We're very keen. He's how'd we on. manage that? How'd we do that? Yeah. Honestly, we how'd we, how'd we, we pulled that? that one, but uh. Awesome. <laughs> It's not. Yeah, Can't but he's coming on. He, well, I've never listened to these two albums, but I briefly put them on, and I can already hear hear the Luca Brasi influences, and I think I'm going to be a big fan moving forward. We got yeah. Sometimes Things Just Disappear by Polar Bear Club and A Flight and a Crash by Hot Water Music. They're very keen. Uh, and they're both very different to what we've done so far, I think. Mm. So that's cool. We haven't, yeah, we haven't really done it. heavy. Off. Yeah, emo, yeah. hardcore kind of. Yeah. We need to do more. We didn't do one metal album. When's the metal album episode? Mate, maybe <laughs> exactly. maybe Metallica Month is a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Metallica <laughs> Month. Metallica. Double M. M squared, baby. Sugar. <laughs> I am the table. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Oh, we did do Toxicity. I suppose that's pretty yeah. metal. That's pretty yeah. metal. But I'm I talking we like... Expanded, yeah, we should expand our genres next season. Slipknot. Should get even crazier. Yeah. But um, yeah, we're going to have some more guests more on, so maybe someone well. will come on and do metal. That should be pretty cool. Yeah. But uh, yeah, sure. cool. So we're going to leave it there for season one, Jeez. even though we haven't formatted it as seasons as such. But next week, you're going to see a brand new color. It's going to be crazy. So kiss goodbye to that baby blue. And yeah. uh, we'll see you next week with uh, Busby from Luca Brasi, two awesome albums. Listen to them throughout the week. Follow us on the socials at Record Royale on Instagram, Twitter. Facebook. We have a website too. We're pretty professional now. Yeah, have you seen these the blazers? When you look throughout the week on Instagram, look at these blazers. We're looking suave. We're taking it for real. And next it's week we've got Busby from Luca Browsey on. <laughs> Avalanche since I left you as the top album of season one. We'll leave it there. See you all later. See you, Brad. Farewell, Adam. See ya. Traders. <laughs> <laughs>